class 10 today we are going to start the revision through sample paper we will discuss one sample paper complete today okay for comprehension part as we don't have any uh, discussion so next let us start with uh, grammar and writing part okay online students who want to give the answers they can raise up your hands kanishka i'm unmuting you and uh, bhumika also because she is always giving answers. Any other student who want to participate in discussion can raise up the hand so that I can give the answer, so that I can ask about the answers. So now for the grammar and the writing part, first one is formal letters are usually written to. To whom we write formal letters? To your close relatives, one minute, to close relatives, to your dear friends, to officials, editors, business firms, or to NGOs. Very good. It is written to officials, editors, and business firms. NGOs, ko you can write down for what is an NGO? It's a non government organization, full form of NGO. You can write a letter, for example, if you want to organize any, you can say, special camp in your area. You want to invite them for any kind of campaign to spread awareness. No, that will be again a formal letter. But mainly in your syllabus, what we are concerned with is that of officials, editors, and business firms. Okay? Right. The next one is, in a formal letter, the writer's address may be written. How you write down writer's address? On the right-hand corner. Now imagine, on the left-hand corner at the top, in the center of the page, all of the above. First of all, in, yes? It is on the right-hand corner or on the left-hand corner? Left-hand corner. Okay, because in the center of page, no. Okay. It is always written in on the right hand corner of the page. Next, language in a formal letter should be what kind of language should be there in case of formal letter? Simple, easy, direct, or all of the above? Right, all of the above. Because when we write down formal letter, we should not use so much of, you can say, lofty type of language. <coughs> you can say heavy words. So that the actual meaning, it remain unexplained. Okay? So you can use <coughs> crisp language so that whatever you are going to deliver through this letter, it will be clearly explained as well as delivered. Right? So the next one is subscription is now preferably written on the bottom of the letter, on the right side, on the left hand side, under the signature and before the ending of the letter. Under the, the, letter. Under the, the, letter. Under the signature, right. So formal letters are written. How formal letters are written? For expressing intense emotion or congratulating the near and dear ones or making proposals inquiries or placing orders or to strengthening social relations because the first one is expressing intense emotion no we don't have any kind of intense emotion that is to be discussed with you can say with unknown persons with whom you are in business next one is congratulating near and dear ones no this is not at all a part of formal letter because in formal letters what we write down we are always right to you can say businessmen with whom we are in business and what we want to order. And the next one is making proposals. Yes. Okay. We are writing this and social relations, there is no need to strengthen. Next one, unlike informal letters, formal letters not be. What formal letters are not? Brief, to the point, relevant, elaborative. Elaborative. So we never... I say always, you know, whenever you write on formal letter, don't beat about the bush. Talk to the point. It means that you will not elaborate them too much. If they will be too much elaborative, no one will be interested in reading up your letter. Okay, they will feel that you are just beating about the bush. Okay, so 
the next one is from grammar now customer says can i have small bottle of tomato sauce so see here it's narration customer says can i have small bottle of tomato sauce so see here this is the dialogue given okay and now you have to pick up the choice or let i will not give you the choice i will simply ask how it will be narrated so that i can see whether you know the rules or not so the so what it is written how it will be changed narrate it customer asked and next is the shopkeeper customer asked the shopkeeper if he can yes if he could have small bottle of tomato sauce because now in this case can will change into could and past perfect it will change it is not past perfect it is possession it will change into had okay so what was the reply of the shopkeeper sorry i have only big bottles sorry i have only big bottles the shopkeeper said told the customer or replied replied or you can also write down the shopkeeper felt sorry and and said that yes he had only big bottles right or he felt sorry saying that he had big bottles now customer next customer will ask when it will be available when yes the customer wanted to know or the customer further asked that when it will be yes it would be available now what was the reply of the shopkeeper i can give it to you tomorrow now change i can give it to you tomorrow he could give he could give it to him tomorrow will change into the next day okay that he could give him give it to him the next day okay he could give it to him the next day so now clear any doubt here i think that one uh, one day we will have revision of only narration i will write sentences and you will give me the answers okay because certain minute confusions are still there on your part hai na so we will have the revision of narration also so next is it is not narration my mother dash me two gifts so far my mother dash me two gifts so far so send has sent will send send has sent right next i shall get a job before this week will end ends has ending or ending before before this week ends okay because he is in present and he is expecting a job next you dash switch off your mobile phones during the training sessions should must may might you should it's a duty okay next next section c which is that of literature in case of literature an extract is given listen to the extract and you can easily get it out i am not so worried about my
it is not from your syllabus okay i get along pretty well with all my teachers okay and there are nine of them seven men and two women which chapter yes and prank mr keezing the old foggy and teaches maths was annoyed with me for ages because i talked so much after several warnings he assigned me extra work an essay on the subject a chatterbox a chatterbox what can you write about that i would i would worry about that later i decided i jotted down the little in my notebook tucked it in my bag and tried to keep quiet so this extract has been taken from which chapter it is from and friend so the following questions you have to give the answers who is i in the passage who is i in the passage and friend and frank is the answer we will make one minute students are still entering i don't know we will make it means that the narrator is sure of their passing the exam passing all subject except maths or making excuses pleasing the teachers passing all the exams passing all the exams because she, because she knew that she is not doing pretty well in mathematics but she was hoping that she will do well in all the other exams next the narrator calls mr mr keezing the old foggy what it means it's a derision in jest lovingly respectfully no foggy means old fashioned man it's in in derision in jest lovingly or respectfully it's in it's in derision because she is not approving him because she knew that he didn't like him like her so the next one is sometimes when peggy was asking vanda those questions in that mocking polite voice medi felt embarrassed and studied the marbles in the palm of her hand rolling them round and saying nothing herself not that she felt sorry for randa exactly she would never have paid any attention to randa if paggy hasn't invented the dresses game but suppose paggy and all the others started in on her next she wasn't as poor as vanda perhaps but she was poor of course he would have more sense than to say she had a hundred dresses still she would not like for them to begin on her she wished peggy would stop teasing vanda pentrosky so you know from which chapter it is vanda now let us do the questions first one is maddie's embarrassment was on account of the fact that she why was maddie embarrassed that she was poor had no courage to oppose peggy could could also be the object of fun or all of the above all of the because all the reasons are there because all the reasons are mentioned here in the paragraph also okay in this extract they all have been mentioned clearly next what kind of girl is medi strong intelligent cowardly or playful what kind of girl medi was strong intelligent cowardly playful cowardly she is cowed she was not able to muster up her courage to speak and to oppose peggy she was not at all strong right and playful no she was not she was not enjoying uh, playing this game with uh, with uh, you can say vanda that how many dresses she has next who asked the questions in a polite mocking way medi peggy vanda or miss mason peggy right next is poem but he is locked in a concrete cell his strength behind bars stalking the length of his cage ignoring visitors he hears the last 
voice at night the patrolling cars and shares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars it is from the poem the tiger you remember the poems or should i repeat again and again okay tomorrow we will have the revision of poems also right because dust of snow and fire and ice so we have done recently the rest of the poems we will do i don't know whatever when the class will be there so the fact that the tiger is talking the length of the cage tells us that he is restless he is reckless he is resilient or he is reverent restless he is moving from one side or to the other of the cage because he is feeling restless in the cage next is what is the rhyme scheme of the given stanza so this you can see by chalking it out no need to ask next these stanzas bring out the contrast between zoos and cities strength and weakness freedom and captivity visitors hmm, freedom and captivity <laughs> because the main thing that the poet wants to deliver through this poem is that the life of tiger in captivity in uh, in a cage and that of in freedom okay so this is right next is anil was watching a wrestling match when i approached him the thief right very good he was about 25 a tall lean fellow and he looked easy going kind and simple enough for my purpose i hadn't had much luck luck of late and thought i might be able to get into the young man's confidence so what does for my purpose refer to the purpose of cheating purpose of stealing purpose of getting a job or the purpose of befriending befriending here ha huh? stealing was the ultimate end of his job but before he wanted to be friendly with the other person to be friending with him right next one the narrator is quite careful carefree dull or observant observant because he was watching or he was noticing each and every detail about anil okay so the next one is i refer to in the passage is anil anil's friend hari singh or a wrestler anil it's anil it is hari singh who is the thief hari singh was the thief right anil was the man who has uh, who has allowed him to live along with him in his house right so yes he was anil next brilliant scientist though he was griffin was rather a lawless person his landlord disliked him and tried to eject him okay invisible man in revenge griffith set fire to his house to get away without being seen he had to remove his clothes he has to remove his clothes and now first one is he removed his clothes so that he could move freely become invisible yes he could become invisible right okay so that he, because the last line says in order to become invisible he has to remove his clothes next griffin was a man of dash nature what kind of nature he was comic witty irritable or calm he was not at all calm he is not at all witty okay he was quite aggressive in nature right a scientist as a scientist griffin was undoubtedly hard working brilliant curious lawless brilliant he was brilliant okay how he was brilliant because he was the only one who has invented the formula of invisibility okay he has only invented the formula of invisibility and this is the reason as a scientist he was brilliant okay because no one no else has ever invented this formula now next which quality of lancho is highlighted in the story a letter to god which quality is highlighted his dedication diligence faith persistence his faith his faith next 
I take the risk. Why did the narrator pilot decide to take the risk? Which chapter? I take the risk. It's yes. Of course, it is from the black aeroplane, right? So I'll take the risk. Why he wanted to take the risk? Because he was hungry, he was confident, he was foolish, or he wanted to reach home. He wanted to reach home. Right. He wanted to reach home. Next one. Choose the option that correctly lists the qualities inherent to an. What are the qualities of an? Reserved. Intelligent. Okay, she was reserved. No. Okay. Intelligent. She was not intelligent. Keen observer. She was keen observer. No. Shy. How? She was introvert otherwise. Skillful. Yes. Talkative. No, she was not. Wanda was studying in Polish school, American school, European school, French school. No, American. Because all the children are from American background and she was from Polish background. And this is the one reason why she was made fun of in the class. Because she had quite a long name. Next. Fire and ice is a warning against what? World war, excess of anger, end of the world, excessive inhuman passions and lack of feelings. End of the world is only that because of these two things, that excessive inhuman passions and lack of feelings. Because B option is right. Why? Because these two, they are representing B. B for dog. Okay. Why it is the right option now? Why it is the right option? Because these two feelings, inhuman passion and lack of feelings, they are representing fire and ice actually. Okay. Lack, coldness in behavior is what? It is ice. So this is the right answer. The poet's attitude towards the boy who has lost his ball is what kind of attitude poet has? Indifferent, irrational, cruel, rational, and wise. Rational and wise because it is because of the why it is rational and wise. Okay, tell me why? Why you have chosen this option? No, don't do in this manner. Have reason. Why rational? Because he wanted to make the child understand the sense of loss himself. He wanted that he should understand the sense of loss. And why it was wise? So that the boy will learn the feeling of loss. He should accept loss in life. That loss is, of course, a part of our life. We lose the things, but that doesn't mean an end to our life. Okay? And he should understand that if this, these kind of losses are made or happen in our life, this is not an and next in a tiger in the zoo the poet seems to advocate what he advocates preservation of natural habitats for wild animals banning all zoos watching the tigers in the wild ignoring the zoos altogether a is right preservation of natural habitats so that when the animal will be in its natural habitat, he will be he will be free to move. Yes, he will be free to move anywhere. Now, next one. Mrs. Pumphrey's attitude towards Tricky was what kind of attitude Mrs. Pumphrey has? Sympathetic? Empathetic. What is the difference between sympathetic and empathetic? Okay, what is empathy then? These two are quite opposite feelings. Sympathy means when you have pity upon the condition of other person. Okay, when the other one is not in good condition and you have you are feeling pity for that person. This is called as sympathy, the kind of feeling to help him that you have in your heart is called as sympathy. What is empathy? It means to understand the feelings of others. 
it is empathy okay help ha huh. because the other person is not in proper condition okay empathy suppose a teacher teaches in teaches in class and she understands the feelings of the students what students want okay this is empathy if i see a dog going in the street and in the dog is in very poor condition and i want this is sympathy now you got the difference okay and over pampering or affectionate over pampering because she was over pampering the boy next hari singh returns to anil because of his love for anil good chances to steal money in future his passion for learning or his greed his passion for learning okay it means that he wanted to learn more thing because he knew that that now he will be able to steal some money but if he will go back he will learn a lot and he will learn earn a lot by getting a proper job so now listen carefully that in your paper you will have 50 questions 50 marks paper will be there comprehensions will be there grammar part writing skills and literature three main sections will be there of paper reading section grammar and writing and literature literature will be combined for both the books main one as well as the supplementary there will not be any kind of demarcation in these no no 50 according to new guidelines it will be of 15 now and your internal assessment of course will be counted but in some other manner ha wo convert ho jayenge baad later on it will be converted ha but paper is of uh, for that 50 marks yes no choice no choice not in reading not in grammar and not in literature 50 means 50 according to board it is 50 marks ha huh? it can be there in original one to it is there but not now you will get choice okay so that's all for today any other doubt online student if you want to have is it clear to you all that's fine so this is the revision of the sample paper and one day more we will devote for the revision of poems we will have the revision of poems in the class okay so that's all for today